It's April 17th when this video is going live, which means that it is officially Forge of Empires 11th anniversary. This game launched way back on April 17th in 2012, and it's come a long way. Today though, we're going to be sending off the anniversary event with its story. If you didn't know, every event has a story that you probably ended up ignoring, so here's the anniversary events. This one is pretty good, so please sit back and enjoy. Keyseeker, welcome to the special anniversary event for Forge. You arrived at just the right time. Our brightest scientist discovered an enigma and requires your help. Thank you for your swift help. I've got another quest waiting for you. According to our scientists, you can use the energy I just gave you on the event spawner. Let's see what happens if we push that button. With the help of our scientists, we built the spawner on top of the newly discovered rich and unusual gem mine. But we don't know what else is hidden down there. Let's analyze the gem first. Some of the gems that we've unearthed seem to be locked in place. Maybe we can free them somehow. I wonder what happens if we merge them with a gem of the same color and shape. You did it! You managed to free a locked gem. Our scientists are baffled. And the gem has changed its shape. It seems like there's something inside the gem now. Our scientists think that this might be one half of a key. We should try to find a matching half so that we can rebuild the key. Maybe we can merge two opposite halves of a key together into a full key? Eureka! It worked! You've got a full key now, but it seems to be stuck inside the gem. Let's meet with our scientists. Maybe they can come up with a solution. We have developed a new device called the Converter. Our scientists assured me that they found a way to break the gem apart to recover the full key inside. Let's put a gem with a full key into the converter and see what happens. Unbelievable, it worked! Our scientists are pure miracle workers. Now that you have a full key in your hands, let's find out what it's used for. When we found the rich, unusual gem vein, we also found a chamber full of chests deep below. We don't know who has built it yet, but maybe we can use the full keys to open the chests inside the mysterious chamber? Look at all those valuables inside. Whoever owned these chests must have been rich beyond any measure that we know. Just look at how large this chamber is. Maybe they broke the keys apart and hid them in some of the gems to safeguard their wealth? Now that we know what we are looking for, maybe it's time to give you a proper title as my assistant. How do you like Tomb Raider? Well, technically it's a chamber, so what do you think about Key Seeker? Where are my manners? I totally forgot to introduce myself. I'm Keymaster Lilith. Nice to meet you, Key Seeker. After our big key discovery, I had to reinvent myself to keep up with your pace. We still have a lot of mysteries to uncover. Who built the chest chamber? Is there a deeper purpose behind all the chests? How did they manage to create all the gems? And why are the gems with keys in them initially immovable? I've just received the latest report from our scientists. It seems like locked gems and chests have some kind of energy signature in them. Maybe we can harvest it and put it to good use? I've been told by our scientists that we can use the harvested energy to make scientific progress. If we invest it into our latest construction project, we might be able to create a powerful building like never seen before. I've seen the construction plans for the new building, and I'm really impressed by our scientists. Now I keep dreaming of my own little workshop, away from all the stress and the fast-paced environment that my current job entails. I feel like we've missed something important during our research. We still have so many questions, yet so few answers. Let's recap our knowledge. All the gems we've discovered so far seem to come in three different elements. Fire, water, and wind. Scientifically speaking, they shouldn't exist, yet here we are. Who could be capable of turning elements into solid gems? Every gem element seems to come in four different shapes. The bigger the shape, the more harvestable energy it contains. There might be a connection between shape and keys too, so let's experiment a bit with that. I was right, the bigger shape contains more keys. Let's use that knowledge when we select our gems for the converter. So far, we've always gone with the natural flow and just put things into the converter as we created them. Let's try out a different strategy and try to further grow our gem shapes that already have a full key inside of them. If we use a gem to grow the second biggest shape, with a full key inside of it, into the biggest shape, then we can get more keys than we ever imagined. Suddenly, my retirement dream doesn't seem that far-fetched anymore. Another thing I noticed is that the distribution of gems seems to be slightly biased towards fire gems. This, of course, will have an impact on our key yield, so let's keep this in mind for the future too. Taking a closer look at the chests also seems to be worth it. They all have different degrees of energy efficiency. Let's use the keys we've collected so far with a more careful approach. It looks like we're not alone here. 
The rumor must have spread and people are rushing to get their hands on all the chamber's treasures too. This will be great for scientific progress, but I fear that you'll have to keep your eyes open now. My old friend Victor, the most brilliant scientist that I know, once told me that competition is only a matter of mindset. It's easy for him to say though, he inherited his family's wealth at a young age and had every resource at his disposal. Did you know that it was Hadwin who came up with the idea for the spotter and converter? Not only is he a great scientist, but he's also a great engineer. Some say those two professions don't mix well, but Hadwin is a prime example of the opposite. Speaking of prime examples, have you met Eliza yet? She is head of the International Science Foundation, and she was the first to discover the unusually rich gem veins all around here. She got in contact with me to coordinate the project. Contrary to popular belief, agreeing on scientific consensus is not an easy task. Scientists are also just humans with their own opinions and sets of beliefs. It seems like three different groups of scientists have formed around gem research. The first group to form was the one analyzing fire gems. Akari, their leader, found out that fire gems inhabit a special kind of energy, different from all the other gems. She spearheaded the effort into deeper gem investigations. A legendary scientist called Nigel knew that Akari was onto something. He quickly discovered that while she was right, there was also something missing in her theory. Nigel began to analyze the wind gems for further knowledge. Once Nigel was able to confirm his theories, he formed his own group for diving deeper into the secrets of wind gems. Akari incorporated some of his theories into her own group, yet both groups still have a lot of questions. Meanwhile, Calder, a young meticulous scientist who is rumored to have a strong connection with Elise, carefully built his own theories surrounding water gems. He formed the group around unlocking the secrets behind water gems. While all the different groups were refining their own theories, I got in contact with Victor. He quickly discovered that there are more similarities than differences between all the gems. His paper will be released soon. Victor's paper convinced Akari, Nigel, and Calder to merge their three groups together. It seems like we are one step closer to unraveling the gem mystery. All the scientists now theorize that those gems are not of natural origin. They must have all been created through some kind of artificial process. It seems like we just don't have the technology to be able to do that. I know that's not a satisfying answer, but it's the best theory our brightest minds could come up with for now. What does it mean that all the gems have been created artificially? If you ask me, they all seem a bit clueless of what what is going on here. What do you think? I think we definitely need further research into this area. The best way to support them is to keep spawning gems, converting them, and opening chests. Retirement sure sounds like the right thing to do now, but I can't just leave all the fun to you, key seeker. Besides, I have to honor my title, don't I? Great to see you're still seeking more keys. I've just got a fresh batch of energy, I just need a little help from you first. And after that quest, the last two lines of text loop until the end of the event. I'll link the spreadsheet of all the quests down below. If you like this story and want to discuss it, maybe consider joining my new Discord server, linked below the like button. If you want to see the other event stories, those are linked on screen, and as always, I'll see you next time.